Hi. If you're watching this, it's because you've decided to appeal against the decision made by the Job Centre about your employment and support allowance. Your appeal will be heard by a judge and a doctor who make up the tribunal. The judge is specially trained to help people to explain their cases, and the doctor is just like your own GP. Until now, you have probably not had an opportunity to speak to anyone about the decision not to award you benefit. Now's your chance to explain things face to face. If you want, you can ask the tribunal to deal with your appeal just on the papers, but it's so much better to turn up and help us understand the information you've provided so that we can take the right decision. Twice as many appeals are successful if you turn up at the hearing. Please read the accompanying leaflet. You are welcome to bring along a friend, a family member or someone from an advice centre to your hearing. We want to make you feel as comfortable as possible about explaining your appeal. Remember, we're here to help you, so please get in touch with our office if you have any queries or concerns. This video is about a fictional but typical appeal. Gareth injured his back at work. He went for a medical examination and was refused employment and support allowance. He decided to appeal. Gareth is feeling quite low. He receives a lot of support from his neighbour, Imogen McGillivray. Gareth! 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 Where are you? Gareth, there you are, honey. Gareth, look at the state of this place. This milk's been lying here for days. You haven't touched it. I can't be bothered. Oh, come on, honey. We're going to have to get this sorted. What's this? You've appealed to a tribunal? Is this about your employment and support allowance? It is important you read the papers and fill in the hearing inquiry form. OK, we've got to fill this form in. Do you want a hearing where you can meet the tribunal? Well, I can't be doing that. I've never been to court in my life. Nonsense, Gareth. I'll go, but only if you come with me. Of course I will, darling. We'll do this together. And we'll get a letter from your doctor so that we can send it to them. There. We're going to the tribunal. It may take a few months before your appeal is heard. This is the time when you could prepare your appeal. You might be able to get your doctor to write a letter in support. Or you could jot down a few notes about what you want to say to the tribunal so you don't forget anything. You can even send a letter to the tribunal in advance, explaining your case if that will make it easier for you. You can bring anyone to the tribunal with you, whether that is someone from an advice centre, friend, neighbour or relative. Although the tribunal will want to hear what you have to say, any help another person can give to you and to the tribunal will be much appreciated. And remember, Twice as many appeals are successful if you turn up. The tribunal office that you send your hearing inquiry form to is responsible for making sure that all the papers go to the tribunal. Send any additional evidence to them as soon as you can. The tribunal will be held at one of our venues near to your home. Please turn up in good time for the hearing. Can you take a seat, please? Thank you. Mr Williams, my name is Val Winter and I'm your clerk today. Can I ask you, have you got any additional papers you want to hand in to the tribunal? No, that's okay. I've already sent a copy of the letter from my GP. Can I ask, how do we get our best fare back? I've got the claim form for you here. The clerk will give you an expenses form to complete and you should hand this back to them when you've finished. We aim to send your travel costs within 10 working days. The tribunal are ready to see you now. Would you like to follow me? The panel is made up of two people, the tribunal judge and the doctor. The tribunal is not as formal as a court. Just call the judge Mr, Mrs or Ms and call the doctor Doctor. The judge will explain how the tribunal will hear your appeal and who speaks when. 
it really is quite informal. The judge has to write down what is said, but at some hearing venues, the evidence is tape recorded. Either way, it helps if everyone takes their turn to speak. The job centre doesn't usually send anyone to explain their decision. They usually rely on the papers that you have been sent. Now, my name's Mr Howard and I'm the tribunal judge chosen to chair this appeal. And this is Dr Chin, obviously a doctor, and she's going to ask most of the questions on behalf of the tribunal. All right? Good afternoon. Now, I see you've put on your appeal form that you have a bad back and that it stops you from doing lots of things. Can you tell me when the problem with your back started? Well, it was when I was working. I was an HGV driver. I was using the tail lift of the lorry. It was slippery and I just fell off and hurt my back. I couldn't move, so my manager called the ambulance and then the paramedics took me to a and &E. I had an x-ray and the doctor said I had soft muscle injury and degeneration in the bottom of my spine. What treatment were you given? Any physiotherapy or tablets? Tell me about the things that your back stops you from doing. Well, there's loads really, like I can't bend over, I can't sit for too long. I've had to stop using the set in my house because it's too low for me to get out of. Imogen's give me a chair. So how long can you sit for? I don't know. I've never timed it, but not long, though. That's fine. Thank you very much. After you have said what you want to say, the tribunal will want to hear from anyone who has come to speak on your behalf. Right, Mrs McGillivray, thank you very much for coming along with Mr Williams today. Is there anything you would like to add to help us to take a decision? Well, it is his back. But it's what he's not telling you, or that doctor who examined him, that I think is really causing him the problems. And what is that? It's almost a year ago to the day that Gareth's wife Bethan was taken from him. He hasn't really come to terms with that. And I think his depression is causing him to be less focused at work. Oh, I am sorry. G go on. See that time he fell off the lorry? That wasn't his first accident. He'd reversed into a wall the week before that. I know he blames the firm for letting him go, but quite honestly, I can understand why they did it. He was becoming a liability. Go on. He hasn't got over his wife's death. He just sits about and stares at the four walls all day. Like, see if I hadn't made him sign these papers for today, he'd still be lying in a pile on his kitchen table. At the end of the hearing, the judge will check that you have said all that you wanted to say and you will be asked to go back to the waiting room while the judge and the doctor discuss your appeal. The tribunal has to take its decision in accordance with the law. Most tribunals will give you the decision on the day, but in some cases, your decision will be sent to you in the post. The tribunal will also send a copy of the decision direct to the job centre, who will then be in touch with you to explain what happens next, depending on the outcome of your appeal. Thank you for watching this film. The next step now is for you to fill in the inquiry form included in your information pack and send it back to us. Remember, you have two weeks from the date that appears on the form to return it to us, so please do so as soon as possible. Whatever the outcome of your appeal, we hope that you find the appeals process clear, impartial and fair. We know that people think coming to a tribunal can be daunting but we will do our very best to help you through the process. Having now watched this film, we do hope that you will decide to attend your tribunal hearing.